Hey, good afternoon. Coming to you live again from ASRM in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. I'm joined today by Dr. Sharina Chen. Hi, my name's Sharina Chen. I'm the Director of Reproductive Medicine at the Institute for Reproductive Medicine and Science, IRMS, at St. Barnabas in New Jersey. That was a long title. Thank you for doing it for <laughs> me. So, so we're out right here in the conference. You can see we're at ASRM on a little bit of a break and wanted to post some videos about new things happening and, and some of the, the interest areas, especially in men's reproductive health. So my first question to you is, okay. is what do you see as the biggest challenge maybe facing, facing men? Since we speak mostly to men, what, what's the biggest challenge men face in terms of reproductive health in your opinion? I think one of the biggest challenges is not getting informed and not talking with your doctor and, and informing yourself about your own health. Reproductive health is very closely tied to general health and uh, the fact that maybe you're watching this video today means you're doing a better job than most people True. of trying to become informed about your own health because those things are totally tied together. And I think when it comes to reproductive and when it comes to general health, you can be your own best advocate. You know, you, you have a doctor, they're gonna help you, but unless you speak up about your concerns and what's going on with you, you're not gonna get the advice and the help that you need. Well said, take control and get educated, do what you can proactively, exactly. right? Exactly, become informed. But you know, it's good to do some research online and you know, Greg and his product and his company, they do some very interesting and valuable research, but you do also have to be careful of getting overwhelmed by Dr. Google. So you, you know, you want to do some research, get informed, right. but you got to actually, you know, go talk see to the your doctor. See the experts, right? Yeah, so see the experts. People actually know what, what to do and can treat you, and there's a lot of options. There's a lot of things that Absolutely. are available once you, you open up that door. Absolutely. Actually, that's a good second question. So, is there one thing that you wish more men knew when they came to see you when they're sitting in your office as a fertility specialist? So I, I actually ask all my, well, number one, the fact that they're in my office is, is a good thing. Okay. You know, because um, it takes two to make a baby, you know, okay. not just one person. And, and, and so having both um, the future mom and the future dad in the office is, is like a big deal. That's it. That's a huge first step. But I ask all my guys to, if you haven't been to your primary care specialist or your primary care doctor in the last six to 12 months, I want you to go get a checkup. And you're not going mm -hmm. saying, oh, my, I'm having trouble, you know, my wife and I are having trouble conceiving. Mm -hmm. You're, I want you to go and have a wellness check. So even if you're healthy and you have no complaints, I think we could all benefit from a checkup and to learn how to be even healthier. General health. Yeah, general health. I think at, hmm. nobody's perfect at that and getting it to, even if you're healthy, you can always learn how to do better. Yeah. And so going to your doctor and getting a wellness check is a good thing. And sometimes that can be a problem though, you know, cause there are some doctors who, I think um, the old model of medicine was, we just spent a lot of time treating people who are sick right. and trying to cure a disease. And so you want to find a doctor that's going to support you when they say, you know, you're healthy, but you could be even healthier this way. You want to find a doctor who's going to help you with that. Well said. Yeah. Actually, so that's another question was, you know, we, especially moving into November, we're trying to build awareness around men's health and the importance of sperm quality and reproductive health for right. men's overall health. Do you see, or do you think men improving their sperm quality is going to lead to better outcomes? Uh, both natural as well as when you need specialized care in the fertility care. I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. I think reproductive and general health are definitely tied together. And we know already that guys uh, with infertility, even if they don't have a specific sperm problem, couples that have trouble conceiving, the male partners definitely do have higher rates of general medical health issues like heart disease and uh, diabetes and, and those types of things. Mm -hmm. So we definitely feel like working on general health can only help with reproductive health. Great. Well, that's great. Well, we'll do some more, but thanks for now and uh, we'll see you soon. Great to see you. Thanks.